How's it going guys? Johnny Rocket here with another video for butterfly technique, the butterfly swimming stroke. What is the butterfly stroke? Well, butterfly was invented in the late 1930s as a spin-off of breaststroke. They started noticing, coaches were noticing that swimmers were faster doing the breaststroke when they recovered with their arms out of the water instead of shooting them forward underwater. So because the butterfly stroke evolved with arms out of the water, it also started with a breaststroke kick, which is why it's called butterfly. It used to look more like a butterfly than it does now, which is a dolphin. It's now become more of a dolphin stroke. So the arms look like butterfly wings, sure, but the kick is now a dolphin kick. Your legs stay together like they're a dolphin tail or a mermaid tail. So you're kind of like hopping in the water, right? And because of that, butterfly is another short axis stroke, just like breaststroke, which means your body's gonna rotate on an axis that goes across your hips. So you're gonna be rotating up and down instead of side to side like freestyle or backstroke. And because butterfly is a short axis stroke, it's inefficient. It makes it harder. It's like hopping around for transportation rather than walking. Well, we as humans, we prefer to walk. Hopping would get tiring so fast. So just remember, if you've heard butterfly is the hardest stroke or it's an awful stroke, I'm trying to change the narrative a little bit by saying butterfly is just the most inefficient stroke, which means it's gonna require more energy to do it well. Okay, but that doesn't mean it can't be done to an easier degree than what you're currently experiencing. I am going to teach you how to do it the most effective way so that it becomes easier for you. Well, like every stroke, butterfly has three components to it. The head position, or the breath, the pull, the arms, and the kick, the legs. We're gonna talk with, about the pull first. When you pull in butterfly, your arms will start out here in the superhero position. Now, this is also where they start for freestyle. For breaststroke, we start with them touching, but for butterfly and freestyle, we start with them in the superhero position. When you pull, you pull both arms together at the same time underneath your body, underneath the surface. Once you get down to your belly, you're gonna wanna sweep out to the side. Don't push all the way through, because if you do that, it's gonna be really hard to get your arms up out of the water and back around and forward. So just sweep out here by your hips or your belly button, so that when you create momentum, it throws your hands forward naturally on their own. You don't really have to do much more effort, okay? That's gonna be one of the best pieces of advice you can take here is sweep out early because a lot of people are talking about how hard butterfly is and I watch them just dragging their arms up out of the water. Sweep out early and you'll find yourself creating momentum that flings your arms forward. The above water portion of the stroke is technically the recovery part of the stroke, but most of you guys would think the exact opposite. When your arms are above the water, that's probably when it's the hardest for you. You're not loving the stroke. You're not even loving life at that point. But if it's a recovery part of the stroke, how on earth do we make it as such? Well, I kind of already gave you that answer and that is to sweep your hands out early. If you aggressively push your hands out to the side and whip them out to the side, there will be momentum created and because of the way our human body is created, the anatomy of our body, your, our shoulders roll forward. So your hands, if you sw swing them out to the side, they're not gonna go backwards, they're gonna go forwards, okay? So create momentum that the, so that the above water portion of the stroke can be recovery. It, you don't have to try hard anymore. Pull hard, sweep out hard, and then let the hands drift back up to the starting position. Superhero. Now there is a common misconception out there about butterfly and how it's like a two-armed freestyle stroke. I would recommend against thinking of it that way only because now freestyle has so many finer points that make it unique that it's not necessarily a double arm freestyle stroke anymore. Butterfly is not double arm freestyle. That might be a very basic way to teach someone in the military or something. Those guys have a lot of muscle. Maybe they just need to be uh, grunting through it. But the best way to swim butterfly is to pull underneath your body with your hands kind of close. You're kind of making like a triangle here. All right. So you're pulling your arms underneath here, kind of making like a trapezoid, and then you sweep them out to the side, they'll fly forward on their own. It's not necessarily a freestyle stroke because your arms are fully extended out to the side. Usually your wrists are pointing forward or your thumbs are pointing forward. You should not have your palms pointing forward, okay? 
It's either the back of your hands or your thumbs. And then when they land in the water, they're gonna rest out in the water. You don't wanna jam them out front. You want them to rest out in front. Pull, sweep, rest. Pull, sweep, rest. When your arms are flying out to the side and they're above the water, they shouldn't be more than six inches above the surface. If they're like a foot above the surface of the water, you're wasting too much energy using your shoulders to pinch back your arms. The second component to the butterfly stroke we'll talk about is the breath. Like breaststroke, you're gonna start your breath when you start your pull, and you're gonna breathe in front of you. Remember, freestyle is the only stroke of the four that you breathe to the side. Butterfly, you breathe in front of you. Start your breath as soon as you start your pull. So the moment your hands have movement, have life to them, that's when you lift your head to breathe, right there. Kind of like you're pulling yourself into the breath. Now, a lot of coaches out there will teach swimmers to breathe every other stroke on butterfly. I don't like that. You need more oxygen. Butterfly is the most inefficient stroke there is, which means you have to work nearly two, three times harder to go the same speed, or you have to put forth more energy just to go the same distance. So just breathe every single stroke on butterfly. Pull yourself into the breath, make the breath part of your technique. Pull yourself into the breath, put your head back down as your arms swing around. The head position on butterfly when you're not breathing should be like breaststroke, below your arms. You're not gonna be pinching your head anymore. You might be, but your arms are in superhero and they're fully extended out front. Your head is still gonna be below your arms. Lift it to breathe by pushing your face forward. Don't lift up your head, but rather push your face forward and then drop your head back into the water. The third and final component to the butterfly stroke is the kick or the legs. I mentioned a moment ago that your legs are now a dolphin tail. They're not doing the breaststroke kick anymore like they used to. It's a dolphin kick. Now your legs don't have to be glued together, but they have to kick together. They have to kick at the same time. They have to work in tandem with one another. So an up kick and a down kick is important in butterfly. Most people just focus on the down kick. Make sure you have a strong down kick and a strong up kick. Your feet will come out of the water on butterfly. Probably about half your foot will come out of the water, maybe your ankle, and then you can slam them back down to get a deeper kick, okay? Bend your knees a lot too to snap the butterfly kick. Too many coaches teach kids and adults to keep their legs straight on butterfly. Butterfly, you would wanna bend your knees to get more of a good snap, like a whip out of your kick. It also traps water that's coming underneath your body, which boosts your body up higher in the surface of the water. It's the way Michael Phelps swims butterfly. He bends his knees a little bit deeper into the water. There are two kicks per pole in butterfly. Most people will do one kick with their arms out in front and one kick with their hands exiting out back. One with their hands out front, one with their hands out back. One, 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 one. And that would be two kicks per stroke, right? As a beginner, I like to teach people to do both kicks with their hands in front because sometimes you'll sneak in a third one as your hands exit and that's okay. You're actually allowed as many kicks as you want per stroke these days. So I'd like a third kick in many of my beginners. I like a third kick in most of my beginners, but you're only gonna get that third kick by focusing on doing two kicks with your hands out front. Boom, boom. That also helps people not just start swimming butterfly from their pockets where they keep getting trapped and frustrated. If you're keeping your hands out front for the two kicks, you'll find you're way more balanced and the entire stroke is a lot easier to do. Well, that's all I have for you today. If you found this video helpful, splash that like button, subscribe to the channel for free, and consider becoming a member today. Check out the merch over on our digital store and follow us over on Instagram, TikTok, Snapchat, and Facebook for shorter clips and tips throughout the week. If you want to get in contact with me directly, you can text or email me right here. If you want your own private swim lessons in person or online, head over to our website and sign up today. Now let's get ready to rock it.